Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Uh, I've just seen a performance and tutorial of a, a variation on a classic sandwich effect. The one where you know what the top and the bottom cards are. Um, I'm just going to show you a different way you can get into that position, which could fool a magician, I suppose. The packet can get shuffled up. You'll spread the packet out to show that the cards are all different and mixed up. Now, if you're doing this against, against a magician, they're going to be looking at the top and bottom cards. Get a couple of key cards in their head. Right, so you bypass that. You look in a couple of cards from the top for contrasting cards. I see the King of Hearts and I see the Seven of Spades. I'm thinking King of Hearts and Seven of Spades. I'll close the packet up. I'll take a little chunk off the top. Just enough to cover the two cards and keep them together and give the packet a shuffle. I will give the packet another shuffle. Just keeping a small chunk back to put on the top, making sure my two cards are still on the top. Now cut just under half and shuffle them onto the top. Then you make your little prediction. Two cards. You know what two cards. I don't because I've forgotten. Hopefully I will remember them in the spread. King of Hearts and Seven of Spades. So you've made the prediction of the King of Hearts and Seven of Spades. Then you go, look, and the cards are all still mixed up. And as you're closing up, you'll get to the King of Hearts and you just pull it down ever so slightly. So that when you pick the packet up, it's just sticking up a little bit. So you can turn it over, square up by pulling up on it to catch a break underneath it, turn it into a pinky break. Take the breaker off at the break, break a small chunk off, swing cut it over and catch a break. Swing another small cut over, swing cut another small chunk over and catch a break. Put that packet down, take the top packet, put it on the top, take the bottom packet, put it on the top. Do the same thing, swing cut a small chunk, swing cut a small chunk, keeping a break, put that packet down, put that packet down, put that packet down. Then you ask your spectator to cut the packet any way they would like. You bring in your prediction card, well, you know where this is going. You bring in your prediction cards, you know where, I'm going to tell you what it is, there's what I mean. Bit of time misdirection, so it puts them off which half is which. And you go, I'll put my prediction in there. Facing up so we can keep an eye on it and we'll bury it in the packet. You know the script. You spread the cards out. You take out the kissy kissy cards and they just happen to be the two cards which are written on your prediction. I say it's not about the effect this. You can go and watch Faden Ace do his, um, his performance of it and his tutorial. Link for it in the description box. You can go over there, give him a sub. It's just about the way of selecting your cards to begin it. Um, ten of spades and the eight of diamonds. Right? I'm thinking ten of spades, eight of diamonds. Little bit off. Give it a shuffle. Give it a shuffle. Give it a shuffle. Ten of diamonds, eight of hearts. Was it? Do you know my memory is getting terrible. Ten of spades, eight of diamonds. As I'm closing up, I'll just go along, pull that ten down, get it together. With this one, I've done it a little bit bad. I've got it nowhere near half, which is a shame. So, just give it a, a little cut like that to get the 10 to the bottom. All that I've done there was just broke a chunk out of the middle, put it down, and then finish with that one on the top, and do the exact same thing there, there, and you've got that and that. You see what I mean? It's just about controlling the two cards, spy them, Shuffle them, get them into the middle, spread, down at it, square up, take the break, shuffle, shuffle, cut, cut, cut. And there we go. I want to shut up and get off now. Don't forget, go and check out Faden Nace and his performance and tutorial of the effect that I did not show you fully, but he will. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.